Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. In this video, we will talk about navigating your Canada PR journey, post ETA steps for Express Entry 2025 without an agent. Receiving your invitation to apply through the Express Entry system is an exciting milestone on your path to Canadian permanent residency. This video will help you navigate the post ETA steps without an agent, providing clear and actionable insights to complete your application confidently. Let's explore the essential requirements and steps you need to take to achieve your goal of living in Canada. If you are interested in this topic, pay attention and watch the video through to the end to get all the information. Please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for an upcoming video. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Navigating your Canada PR journey, post ETA steps for Express Entry 2024 without an agent. Receiving your invitation to apply for Canadian permanent residency through the Express Entry system is a significant milestone. However, the journey doesn't end there, it's just the beginning of the final steps before becoming a permanent resident. In this video, we'll walk you through the essential steps to take after receiving your ETA in 2024, detailing how to navigate the process without an agent, understanding the timeline. Once you receive your ETA, you'll notice a countdown clock in your online account. You have 60 days from the date of your ETA to submit your application. It's crucial to be aware of this time frame and plan accordingly. If you submit incorrect information or find that you cannot prove certain details, you can decline the ETA. However, doing so means you will need to re-enter the express entry pool and potentially wait for another ETA in the future. In most cases, applicants choose to continue with the application process. To do this, you will select the Continue Application option, which leads you to a series of questions that you need to answer accurately. Completing your application. Personal details. First, you will need to fill in your personal information as per your passport. This includes Full name, if you've used another name, ensure that you mention it here. Date of birth, accurate records are essential. Place of birth, specify the city. Physical characteristics, such as height and eye color. Marital status, indicate your current marital status. This will determine the additional documentation required if you're applying with a spouse or partner. ID documents, provide details of your identification documents. This typically includes 1. Document type, select passport. 2. Document ID, enter your passport number and other required details. 3. U.S. residency status, indicate if you are a lawful permanent resident of the United States. Immigration history and citizenship. Next, you'll need to provide your immigration history, which includes any previous applications made to Canada. 1. Have you ever applied for a study permit or work permit? If yes, provide details. 2. If you have given biometrics in the last 10 years, indicate yes. 3. Include your unique client identifier number, found in your previous applications or permits. 4. Declare your citizenship country and current residence details. Family information. Next. You will enter details about your family members accompanying you. 1. If you're applying alone, select 1. 2. If you have a spouse or children, add their information accordingly. 3. If applying under the Canadian Experience class, you do not need to provide proof of funds. However, if you're under the Federal Skilled Worker Program, you'll need to attach documentation proving that you meet the minimum funds criteria. You will also be asked about any relatives residing in Canada. Generally, this includes siblings, so ensure to provide accurate details about them. Contact information. Accurate contact information is crucial for receiving updates from IRCC. 1. Language of correspondence, typically, English is selected. 2. Phone number, include your current phone number, selecting the appropriate country code. 3. Email address, this should be the one you check frequently as all communication will be sent here. 4. Mailing address, if you're currently living in Canada, Provide your local address. Address history. For the application, it's important to list every address you've lived at in the last 10 years or since your 18th birthday. 1. Ensure there are no gaps in your address history. If you lived in multiple locations, record each accurately. 2. If you've moved, state the time frames clearly, for example, from year to year. Education and language proficiency. This section focuses on your educational background and language proficiency. Educational details, list all institutions attended, degrees obtained, and the corresponding dates. Language tests, if you took an approved language test, IELTS, CELPIP, include details such as Test date, test type, general, certificate number. Make sure to enter the results accurately as they will be pivotal in your application. Employment history, 
Your work experience is crucial for your application. Here's how to structure this section. NOC code. Enter the National Occupational Classification Code that corresponds to your job. Work experience. Provide details of your employment history, ensuring to include 1. Job title 2. Company name 3. Employment duration 4. Full-time or part-time status Be mindful to include at least one year of continuous work experience in your primary NOC code for eligibility. You can list additional jobs as secondary NOC codes. Personal history Document your personal history over the last 10 years. 1. Ensure there are no gaps, list every job, educational endeavor, or significant life event, such as unemployment or homemaking. 2. Start with the most recent information and work backward. Travel history, besides your home country and Canada, record all countries visited over the last 10 years. This helps to provide a complete picture of your travel history. Additional considerations. 1. Criminal history. You may be asked about any criminal convictions. Disclose this accurately, as failing to do so can lead to serious consequences. 2. Medical exams. Depending on your situation, you might need to undergo medical examinations. Be prepared for this if applicable. Submitting your application. Once you have completed all sections, carefully review your application for any errors or omissions. It's vital to ensure everything is accurate before submission. After confirming, submit your application, and keep track of your progress through your IRCC account. Conclusion Navigating the post-ETA steps in the express entry process can be daunting, but with careful attention to detail and organization, you can successfully manage your application without the need for an agent. Understanding each step ensures that you can present a thorough and accurate representation of your qualifications and intentions to the Canadian Immigration Authorities. Remember, each section is crucial, and diligence now will pave the way for your future in Canada. Congratulations on moving forward with your application for permanent residency in Canada. By following the steps outlined in this video, you're well on your way to submitting a successful application. Stay organized and informed as you complete the process, and remember that your dream of living in Canada is within reach. Good luck!